Hello and thanks for watching this video on customer write-offs. So Acumatica gives you a very convenient way to write off customer balances in the accounts receivable module. There's a couple of reasons you might do that. One of them is if it's a bad debt invoice and you're never going to collect it. The other reason might be just a clerical error, maybe, you know, for some reason, uh, the tax or the freight or something like that is incorrect and you decided to just eat it on your end. Um, that's another reason. So let's get started. The first step is Acumatica has a concept called reason codes. So if we search for reason codes and take a look, there's many different types of reason codes you might use and for different uses. So for example, this one is to track revenue for Amazon type sales. So the usage is sales. But we also have balance write-offs and credit write-offs. So if we take a look at, for example, a balance write-off, we give it a code, a description. The usage is balance write-off. Earlier we looked at sales. So credit write-off is for a write-off, a credit memo that you might write off and not give it to the customer. But this is a balance write-off. And if we're using sub-accounts, this would be the different sub-accounts that we would hit based on this particular reason code. So if I click over here and I press F3, I have the ability to define where am I pulling the sub-account from? Am I pulling it from the actual reason code or the customer's location or the branch that I'm operating in? And the this is a two-segment sub-account. So the secondary one is the department. So where am I pulling it from, the sub-account? In this case, we're pulling it from the reason code, which is defined down here. And here's the account. So in the event of a balance write-off, this is an expense account, typically. So bad debt. But if it's a credit write-off, then I may use a revenue account, or I might actually reverse the entry in my expense account, which is what's being done here. Now, if we wanted to create a different one, let's say, for example, freight adjustment. We can come in here, type freight adjust, and this will be a freight adjustment. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe we're using an e-commerce site, and the freight that was calculated on the website is less than what our actually freight is in Acumatica, and we need to hit an expense account for the difference. So we'll select a usage of balance write-off, and We'll pick a freight expense account. We'll just put it right in there. And we'll save it. So there's a few reasons. So now the next thing is, is what customers are eligible for write-offs? So if we look at the customer profile and we select a customer, maybe that has some invoices. Under our financial settings, we have the ability to enable write-offs right here and choose the write-off limit amount. So by default, we can say $200 here is the amount that we're allowed to write off for this customer. Now, $200 is a little bit much, but it's great for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to keep it there. Now the next area in Acumatic is under receivables, under our process screens, we have a write-off balances and credits. So by default, this screen comes up. It's set to balance write-off, not credit write-off. There's a document date. This date will be used in the creation of the transaction that's used to write it off. So 514, you may want to backdate that or you, maybe you don't. And this is the posting period that'll be used. You can filter by customer here. And notice there's no records down here. This is the list of invoices that could potentially be written off. However, all of them have a greater than $10 balance. So they're not showing up here. So, so let's change this to $1,000.
And now you can see a bunch of invoices here with the potential to write off. And again, we enabled write-offs here. However, the balance is $700. It's certainly greater than 200. That balance write-off limit is for inside the customer payment screen, which I'll show in a minute. But let's take, for example, Jersey Central Office. Let's check it. And let's click Process. Okay, so this is invoice 6663. And we successfully processed it. And if we look for that invoice, it's now status closed. The balance is zero. And if we go to applications, what you see here is a doc type called balance write-off. And it used this document. And this is the date as discussed before. And that screen, it gave us the option to select the date that we wanted the transaction to be created. If you take a look at it, you can see the payments and application screen is what's used to write it off. The type is a balance write-off, not a payment. It's a balance write-off type. And you could see it's from this customer. The amount is $500. And if we go to our application history, we can see that same invoice, 6663. Okay, so that's one way to write off the balances. The reverse would apply for credit write-offs. The other option we can do is if we go into payments and applications, and we create a brand new payment. So we're receiving money from a customer. And in this example, let's say the check number is 7878, and it's the toy company that we configured earlier. And what we'll do is we'll load an invoice here. We'll select one. And you can see this is a big invoice, 181,000. But over here, we have the ability to do a write-off. So I can come in here and I can do a $200 write-off. And the system is telling us that the value must be zero. The reason for that is because we've selected to pay the entire invoice. So if I really wanted to make this work here, I would say that the check amount or the payment amount is 181, maybe 363.40. Now I can write this off, the $200 amount. Now, if I were to change this and try and exceed my limit, as we talked about earlier, so let's say, for example, the payment is only 181000 The customer is saying, hey, just write it off. And your AR clerk says, okay, let me try that. If you put in an additional amount here, Acumatical will give you a message that this exceeds the limit inside the customer profile. Okay, so, but anyway, we're gonna go 181, I have it in the clipboard. We'll paste it again. And we'll put $200 here. And then we'll match our payment amount. This is the check amount that the customer sent us. It's less $200 of the total balance. This is the write off amount. And we'll release this. Now, if we go back to application history, when you apply invoices to a customer payment, they start off here, documents to apply, future tense, and they end up under application history, which is why it gets transferred over and it's blank. But if I open up this invoice that we applied, you can again see there's no balance. If I go to applications, you can see the payment, which also has the balance write-off amount. So that's it, that's customer write-offs. If you have any questions or you need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our contact information is at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching.